Drop shipping, drop shipping, drop shipping. This is probably the reason why you all watching are interested in my videos. But what if I told you there's an alternative way to successfully sell on Shopify without drop shipping? Well, guess what? That's exactly what I'll be doing in this video. I'm not saying drop shipping is necessarily a bad business model, but if you guys want to build a long term brand that generates revenue on a consistent basis, this new method that I'm about to show you is going to be your best bet. And not only that, many of the big brands you hear about today follow, if not the same method, something very similar. So let's hop into it. So what exactly will we be doing to build and maintain this business without the drop shipping method? Now, rather than having your supplier who's located all the way in China package and ship your products individually, you will be ordering your products in bulk and have them sent to the US or wherever the majority of your customer base lies, then to each and every customer. Some of the benefits of ordering in bulk are that you're gonna get competitive pricing, meaning you're gonna get lower unit costs if you buy in these big quantities. Since you're working with your manufacturer, you can ask them for product modifications if the quality isn't up to par, and you can also ask them for custom packaging. And given you'll have the product in the general area where your customers are based, you're gonna have faster shipping times resulting in less customer complaints and chargebacks. And this seems all great, but if you don't do this properly, you can lose a lot of money the same way I did. So flashback three years ago when I was tired of these customer complaints about long shipping time and white box, I decided to legitimize my business by ordering big quantities and getting custom packaging, getting all those units sent over to my house to where I would package and ship those units individually. So things were going all great until I got a season assist, which basically meant I could not sell that product anymore or else I'd get a lawsuit. So I was left with $25,000 worth of inventory that I couldn't even sell if I wanted to. So it's advised not to jump into something so soon until you are 100% sure you have a winning product that you can legally sell. Now you have two options for product fulfillment. You can order your products in bulk to be sent over to a 3PL, a third party fulfillment center, where they will go in and package and ship every every single unit directly to your customer. Now this is completely hands off and fully automated. The next option is ordering your products in bulk to your home where you're gonna go in and pack and ship each unit to your customers. Each option works, it just depends on whether or not you can allocate time to that fulfillment process. So now what we're gonna do is hop into the computer and show you exactly how to find a reliable manufacturer with the winning product that you already have. All right, lovely first step in finding your own manufacturer that you will be working with long term is the following. So step one, let's say we have this product as the example. We want to sell this push up board. It's proven to have done well for us. We're ready to take our brand to the next level and really legitimize our business. Let's say that we have been purchasing from this AliExpress supplier for the past couple months and we've been using this guy to buy each unit per unit, $22.97, and then the shipping is right here. So this is the AliExpress listing that we have been using to dropship, right? Using the dropship model. First things first, we want to head over to Alibaba.com. So once we're at Alibaba.com, this is where we are going to be finding manufacturers. Now the difference between Alibaba and AliExpress is AliExpress is where they service dropshippers. Alibaba is where we'd be ordering in bulk. There's gonna be MOQs, minimum order quantities. So you're generally gonna find your manufacturers on Alibaba and your dropshippers or your suppliers on AliExpress. So most of the time, these suppliers, these mini warehouses on AliExpress, these guys buy in bulk from Alibaba and they do the service for all these dropshippers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in push up board right here. Now what we're doing here is looking for a reliable listing. We're looking at the amount of years in service. Now once we have searched the product name, what we are looking at is a reliable listing. So we're seeing six years in service, we're looking at uh, two years in service. We are looking for the exact product that we have been selling. So once we are at a listing, we can check here that there's three years in service, less than three hour response time, 96.8% delivery. It looks like they do have samples available. Right here, there's an MLQ, a minimum order of 50 units at $2 a piece, $4 is going to be the sample. All right, so once you are signed in, you're gonna have the ability to contact these manufacturers by simply hitting the chat now button and you're gonna have a Facebook-like interface. So right here, what I'm gonna do is give you guys a complete template that you can go in and send to all these manufacturers. All right, so here's the generic message that we will be sending over to each of these manufacturers. It's gonna start with, hello, my name is Blank. I'm very interested in selling your product and working with you in the future. 
I've scaled countless products and I believe that this one has the potential to do the same. Some things I would like to get information for and clarify are the following. We want them to know that we are serious and that we have interest in building a long-term relationship and that we have the credibility that we've done this before. We're gonna be asking for the product unit cost, the minimum order quantity, if it's not listed here, here clearly it's 50, so you don't have to put it. The shipping freight cost per unit, the shipping time, the air versus C. So most of the time air is gonna cost a lot more than C, but C is gonna take much longer. Can you make custom packaging for each unit? So if they are a manufacturer, most of the time they can provide custom packaging, which we're gonna definitely utilize. And do you have any samples available? This listing does have samples, but sometimes they don't have the samples listed. And then we're gonna be asking for their WhatsApp. I type it like that because sometimes the algorithm will indicate that you are typing WhatsApp and they don't want you to get off of their service, right? And use some sort of different payment method. So we can put it like that. Or if you're completely fine with just using this messaging system, then you can continue to use that. I personally just like to have my guys on WhatsApp so I'm able to contact them on a daily basis, much easier. You can send this over to them just like this. Once we got that in, that's supplier number one. We're gonna go in and look for another supplier or manufacturer rather. We're gonna look at all these guys right here. Let's go with the top one, do the same thing. Chat now, copy, paste. All right, so this exact message copy is going to be in the comment section. So I'll be sending that over to you guys uh, to copy and paste and send to each of these manufacturers. And the idea here is really just to send this to as many manufacturers so that we can have them negotiate and compete with one another, obviously without telling them, but we're gonna try and get the best pricing with the best, most reliable manufacturer that we can possibly find. So once you get a message back from all these manufacturers and get an idea of what their logistics are, the cost is, what we are going to be doing is negotiating. So you're gonna have maybe five, 10 of these guys all in contact and we're gonna try and get the best pricing, the fastest shipping time, and uh, the best possible connection that we can make. So what we're gonna be doing is heading over to a website called 1688.com so that we can get an idea of how much the general price is and how low we can possibly go. So as you can see, it's in Chinese, so this is really just the Alibaba for suppliers, but we're trying to see what they're giving the price to these Chinese suppliers. So we can go in, and type in push up board and we're gonna look for listings. I found this listing right here and we can see that the price right here is nine Chinese yuan. So if we were to convert nine Chinese yuan to USD, let's see what that is. That is 131. So that's pretty much the lowest that we can possibly go. As you can see, the initial listing was $2, right? So there's not much room to work with with this product, but sometime there is going to be big fluctuations in the price, right? So if the manufacturer is telling you that it's $15 and you go on to $16.88 and you do the conversion and it might be only $2 or $3. So you know how much you can negotiate with these manufacturers. So this one isn't too dramatic, but we're gonna see that the lowest is about 131. And you can go in and check other listings to see what the prices are from there. So that's really the idea of how to go about negotiating with these various manufacturers to find the best manufacturer that's going to fit your needs. And within a week, most of these manufacturers will have already contacted you so make sure to check your inbox on Alibaba I know it's not the most convenient thing make sure to check that but it's up to you to figure out who's going to be the best fit for you in the long run considering all these logistics that you just went over having a strong connection with your manufacturer is vital so it's important you choose wisely who you want to be investing your time and money into so here's a basic walkthrough on how to source and supply your Shopify winning product without the drop shipping model other than that that's pretty much everything I wanted to go through if you guys got some value out of that walkthrough please leave a like don't forget forget to subscribe. I'm going to be posting more bangers, more e-commerce content for you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.